It's Pat from Pat's Ever Music. Thank you so much for joining me for another One Finger Riff video. Now, these are all suggestions that have come from you, either on Instagram, Facebook, or in the comment section below. If there's a riff or a song you want to learn that's not in this video, leave a comment below and I will definitely check it out for you. Now, some of these riffs are a little tricky. So although I'm going to show you how to play them with one finger, I'm going to show two, three, and four finger versions as well, just so if I think it's actually easier to play it with more fingers, I'll let you know. But otherwise, Let's get started, grab a guitar, tune up, let's do it. Thank you very much for the suggestion on Facebook. So the first riff we're checking out is by Bon Jovi called Blaze of Glory. It's a little bit of a solo, it's quite high up on the neck. Diving right on in and I will show you how to play it. So you come right on in with your first finger on the 12th fret and you want to slide it up to the 14th fret on the 3rd string. Now most guitars on the 12th fret have a double dot. That's the start of the octave again. So you should just go up to the double dots or the 12th fret. So play the 12th fret with your first finger, slide up to the 14th. And then you hit it again. So slide and then hit the 14th. Once you've done that, actually play the 14th fret another three times. Then jump back up to the 14th fret on the G string, on the third string. So we've got so far. Great job, that's half the riff. Same string, go back to the 10th fret and slide from the 10th to the 12th on the third string. Then you play that 12th once you've uh, done the slide. And then you play it three more times. And then here comes the trickiest part of the song. You first pick the 9th fret on the third string and then you pick it again, but in one motion you slide to the 10th, back to the 9th, back to the 7th, all with only one pick. So you pick the note, then you pick and do all the slides. So I'm only picking twice. So the whole thing. Now the last slide is really hard to do with one finger. So what I would actually suggest is using your first finger on the ninth fret, hammer on with your second finger, pull off with your second finger, and then slide back with your seventh. So play the ninth fret, then hammer on with the tenth fret, then pull off with the tenth fret, then slide back, all in one motion. That's how I would approach that little melody. Great job, such a fun riff. They do play it live a little bit differently from time to time. There are some variations in the recording, but check it out and have a lot of fun. Thank you for the suggestion. All right, so checking out Greta Van Fleet, A Change Is Gonna Come. Thank you very much for the suggestion. If you like Led Zeppelin, check out this band. If you like Greta Van Fleet, check out Led Zeppelin. Similar sounds, but great, great artists. So starting out all the way up with a little bit of distortion on the eighth fret of the A string or the fifth string. You know, now you wanna play that fret, then you wanna go and play the fret behind it, and then you wanna go all the way and drop it down a string and put your first finger on the second fret of the D string, so you've got an A chord there. So what that would sound like. Now that's the main sort of hook that sort of starts out at the beginning of the song. If you want to make it a little bit chunkier, and of course you do, turn it into a power chord like this with your first finger and your third finger. If you want to make it a little bit chunkier, use your pinky underneath your third finger and then when it gets to the A chord, play a full A minor like this. Great job, that's the main hook. Let's check out the chords. Now the chords, here are the chords for the verse. So I was born by the river is on a C chord. You can play it like that, big open C in a little tent. Then you've got D minor. And then back to that A minor. 
And that's it for the verse. So lots of held chords. The C is held for two bars. The A minor is held for two bars there as well. Then checking out the chorus, you've got C major. D minor. And then you've got the riff. So eighth fret, seventh fret, then A chord. Or the, yeah, the chunky version. That's it. Great job. I know it's a bit tricky, but have a lot of fun playing through the entire song. Lots of fun to play. Alright, so something a little bit heavier. We're checking out Sober by Tool. Thank you very much for the suggestion. Dialing in lots of distortion. Now, it's going to be a little bit tricky because I'm going to show you the one finger method, but I'm going to show you how you should play it with two fingers using unison chords. Now, unison chords are kind of like power chords. But you actually drop your third finger down a string and you're playing the same note but an octave higher. So in that example I'm playing two different C notes. And together... It sounds a bit different to a normal C power chord, right? Now how you get it nice and clean is you use your first finger and you, when you play the note you actually lean it down a little bit so the string underneath whatever sort of fret you're holding onto is uh, muted. So you can't really hear it. So diving right on in. Thank you for the suggestion. So coming on in, you want your first string on the 12th fret and you play it seven times. You play it in two groups of three and then you play an extra seventh. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Then drop back to the 10th fret and play that four times. One, two, three, four. So let's hear that. So once you can do that, go up to the 13th fret, play that four times. One, two, three, four. Then back to the 10th fret and play that three times. And the whole thing. Now I know it's a really tricky rhythm and it's going to be one of those sort of riffs that you just chuck on the music video or chuck on the song and just listen to over and over again to try and get into that zone locked in with that odd timing. That's half of the riff, well done. So very similar, start again off with the 12th fret seven times, then four times on the 10th fret, then same seven times on the 13th fret, and then all the way up on the 15th fret six times. Here's the whole thing with one finger, then I'll show you chords. Now make that unison chord like we spoke of at the start of the video. Definitely a hard riff to learn and to play. Try and sort of listen along to the CD, get that sort of riff or the rhythms in your head, and then try and jam along. Heaps of fun to play. Thank you for the suggestion. All right, so thank you very much for the suggestion. I hadn't heard this song before. So I put an octave below on my guitar because in the actual track, it sounds to me like it's a synth or some sort of MIDI instrument. So with an octave below, sounds a bit more like a synth. So you're gonna come up here with your first finger on the sixth fret of the fifth string, and you'll play that. If you can, play it as an, a power chord with your third finger on the 8th fret. Now then, you play the 6th fret on the 5th string three times. So you try and pick it down, up, down. Then, go all the way to the 9th fret on the same string and play that three times. Then jump up a string and go to the... Then jump down a string and go to the 6th fret on the D string. Move up two frets to the eighth, and let's hear what we've got so far. Then go back to the sixth fret on the fourth string, 
upper string to the ninth fret on the fifth string, and then the sixth fret on the fifth string. And that's a third of the way there. Let's hear how that sounds like. Now what I would suggest is every time you see a 6th fret, use your 1st finger, every time you see a ninth fret, use your pinky, and every time you see an 8th fret, use your 3rd finger. Makes it much easier. So that's a third of the riff, let's check out the next third. So next thing what you want to do is the same rhythm, but just a few different notes, is move back to the 4th fret on the same string, that 5th string. And you play that 4th and 6th power chord. Then again, play the 4th fret 3 times. 6th fret 3 times. Then jump up and play the 6th fret E string, jump down. 6th fret A string, then 4th fret on the 4th string, and then finally 6th fret 5th string, 4th fret 5th string. Nice and slow. So same sort of riff and melody, it's just gone down. Now the final part is a little bit tricky, but we'll break it down nice and slowly. Power chord on the 2nd fret of the 6th string. Once you play that, 1st finger all the way up to the 4th string, 8th fret. You play that 3 times. Then 11th fret, same string. So again. And then power chord on the 4th fret of the 5th string. Then again, 8th fret 3 times. Then just 11th fret once. And that last section again. Take your time, it's heaps of fun to play once you got that melody down. Great job, thanks for the suggestion. Alright, so next we're checking out some KISS uh, titled Lick It Up. Thank you very much for the suggestion. I haven't played or listened to KISS in a long time. Heaps of fun. You got a little bit of distortion. Now I'm going to show you the one finger method, but of course I'm going to show you how to play it with two fingers as well. So what you want to do is come on with your first finger on the second fret of the third string and you want to play that fret as well as the open fourth string above it. So it looks like this. So you're going to play that twice. And then move your first finger up a string and now play the fifth string open as well as the fret that you're holding. So just practice that. Just try and get that rhythm down before you do anything else. Once you've done that, as soon as you've played that last chord, try and use the meaty part of your palm to rest and play that same chord three, you know, four times but palm muted, so it sounds like this, instead of this. And add that to the end. So what we've got so far? So it might take you a little while to get used to that sort of rhythm and sort of feel. You might play it nice and slow. And that's fine, take your time. So you play that sort of riff twice. Once you've done that, a big chunky G chord, but I'll show you how to play the full chords in a second. First finger up on the third fret of the sixth string. Then go back to your first chord. Then up a string to your second chord. So it's sort of emulating a G chord, a D chord, and then an A chord. Now how I would suggest playing the whole thing is use your first finger and your third finger to get the top part of a D chord and then move those two fingers back to the second fret to get a sort of a thicker sounding A. Then go for a big G chord 
then the D chord again, then the A chord again. It just sounds a little bit chunkier. Thanks for the suggestion, moving on. Alright, so we're checking out Rebel Rebel by David Bowie. Thank you very much for the suggestion. A little bit of distortion, back pickup, see if, you, you know, if you've got like a Telecaster or a Strat. Awesome, just something that's a little bit brighter to sort of jump out of the mix. Diving right on in. So it starts actually with an open fourth string. So that's your D note and that's like droning on in the background. Once you've done that, have your first finger all the way up on the fifth fret of the second string. And now you actually want to play that fifth fret as well as the string underneath it. So the first string, you want to play them both at the same time. And that's what gets that chimey sound. So starting again. Then move back two frets and get the third fret, again with the open first string. Go back another fret so you get the second string and the open. So what we've got so far. Next, you actually want to jump up a string and you want to be on the first fret of the third string and you play that twice and you sort of mute in between. So play it, then rest your palm back on the string and then play it again. So that whole thing so far. Once you've got that, this is the tricky bit. You play the second string open. You play the second fret and then you pull off to the open string. So that last bit. Then you play the first fret on the string above. The second fret on the string above. And then you would start again. So that last sort of trickier part, open second string, second fret on the second string and then you play it and then pull off and then first fret, second fret and then you would immediately play the open D string and start again. Now I'm going to show you how to play it with a few more fingers just to make it sort of filled out the sound a little bit more. So start again exactly like we did before. Now when you get up to the second fret, use your first finger and your second finger on the second frets. Now when it comes up to the next part, move your first finger back. So first finger is on the first fret like what we were playing before. But your second finger is also on the second fret of the fourth string. Play that twice with the mute in between. And that's the entire riff, well done, nice and slow. Well done and thank you for the suggestion. Okay, so checking out Crazy Train, thank you very much for all the suggestions. We've been wanting to play it for so long, but I thought, you know what, it's so hard for a one finger riff video, but I thought, you know what, let's just chuck it in there and see how you go. I'll show you, of course, how to play it with one finger, and then it's actually easier with multiple fingers. So let's dive right in. So make sure you've got lots of distortion going on. Now there is a lot of palm muting, meaning you're resting the thickest part of your palm on the strings. So it sounds like that and not like this but we'll get to that later on. So to start with, play the second fret twice with your first finger. Then jump down a string and play the fourth fret. Then go back, play the second fret once. Then play the fifth fret on the A string. Then play the second fret once. And play the fourth fret on the uh, A string. So how that sounds like nice and slow. and then second fret again. So I would break that up and just practice that. Or without muting. Once you've got that, the sort of second part of the riff, is you drop down and you actually play the second fret again and you're doing the tail of the riff. So your second fret on the A string. Now what you can even do is you could drop down 
or you could bend your first finger down. So once you play the second fret on the E string, you play the second fret on the A string just by bending your finger down. Almost like a roll. You'll find it's a little bit quicker than hopping down, but it's up to you. So again, second fret on the A string, then up a string this time to the fifth fret on the E string, then fourth fret, then fifth fret. So what that sounds like. And then second fret again on the A string, then fifth, fourth, open E string. So that sort of last part to the riff. Nice and slow, that whole riff. Now that's actually half the riff and you would play that three times and then there's a bit of a tail ending. How I recommend you playing the riff is playing with these fingers. First, every time you see a second fret, use your first finger. Every time you see a fourth fret, use your third finger. Every time you see a fifth fret, use your pinky. Is it hard? Yes, but overall, it's such a great exercise to play that way. Now, I didn't have to move position. My fingers are already above the frets. Once you just play it often enough and you've got the sort of rhythm in your head and you can hear the melody, speed will come. Don't worry about speed just yet. Speed will definitely come. Moving on to the second half of the riff. Great job. So just pretend like we've played that riff three times and we're finished on. Now then you start off very, very similar. So second fret twice, then fourth fret, then second fret, then fifth fret, then second fret, then fourth fret, then second fret. So what that part sounds like. Then even easier, you just jump up to the fifth fret on the A string, then move up to the seventh fret on the A string. And if you want, turn them into power chords. So what that whole thing sounds like, that second part. Then there's the muted sort of galloping sort of stuff. And that's the whole thing. So I'll play the first part once, but remember you need to play it three times. So play that three times, then. Is it tricky? Yes. Is it a great exercise for working on position playing and using your third finger and your pinky? 100% yes. Or if you want, you can play it with your first finger. Give it a go. Tell me how you go. All right, another classic. Thank you for the suggestion. So you want to, so diving right in, you want your first finger on the third fret of the A string. Now you want to play it once so it rings out. Then you want to use your palm to mute it and play it another two times. And then play it again, but let it ring out. So it sound like this. So that's a great start. Then you want to mute it again twice. Then play it again so you can hear it. Move up two frets. Then move up one fret. And that's it. That's half of the riff. Great job. So you're halfway through. Well done. So for the next part, again, you want to play the third fret open. Then mute it twice. Then open again. Then mute it twice. Sixth fret, same string. First fret, same string. So what that sounds like. So once you've sort of repeated through that riff a couple of times, the last part is third fret, first fret, third fret, all on the A string or the fifth string. So the whole riff put together. whole thing put together as a power chord. Alright, so another classic sort of riff there. We've got Paul Stanley's Live to Win. 
made famous by the South Park episode, World of Warcraft. Man, so funny, such a great episode. Really just captured that video game so well. So diving right on in, lots of distortion again. Only a few chords, you can do it. So you wanna have your first finger up on the fourth fret of the E string, and you actually wanna play that 16 times. Now I know that's a lot, but once you play the, the riff a few times and you're sort of jamming along on the computer, you'll actually be able to hear or feel where the changes occur. So for now, just count 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. <laughs> Once you've done that, so 16 times on that 4th fret, go same string, but go to the 1st fret and play that 12 times. Now, the reason why it's 12 times is you then play the 4th fret once, same string, and the 6th fret once. So what we've got so far? So that's the first part. The last part of the riff is even easier. You just play that fourth fret, same string, 16 times, and then the first fret, 16 times. And that's the chorus. It's where you're singing Live to Win. Now, it doesn't sound too big or chunky at the moment, does it? So how I would suggest you playing, even though the guitars in the song are detuned really low, you can play along just with your guitar set up in normal standard tuning, is have your first finger holding down the fourth fret, and the first finger also holding down the fourth fret and the string below, and then your third finger making that sort of extended power chord, so your third finger would be holding down the sixth fret on the fourth string, so it sounds like this. Nice and chunky, right? Let's sort of give it a boost as well. So again, it's the same thing, I'll show you exactly what it sounds like. So if you haven't sort of played sort of heavy sort of rhythms or a lot of strumming, this is a great song for that. And you know what? It's just a fun song, whether you know the sort of South Park references or not. Checking out the last song, but thank you for the suggestion. <laughs> Now this is definitely easy to play with two fingers using hammer-ons, but I'll show you how to play it with one finger using slides. So to start with just the intro part, first finger, first fret, sixth string, you play the first fret, then you slide up to the third fret. Then drop down a string and play the first fret. Back up a string and play the third fret. Try and get this sort of vibe. Now if you were to play it using hammer-ons, you would have your first finger on the first fret, and you would hammer on the third fret instead of sliding. And that means you don't have to change positions. It's actually a lot easier. So try the slide to begin with, and then work your way up to the hammer on. All right, next, that's the sort of intro to the riff. You play the first fret again, slide to the third fret. First fret, down a string. First fret, down a string, but slide to the third fret. And then first fret. That last part, that's that sort of phrase. Then first finger up to the third fret on the fifth string, slide from the third to the fifth fret and play the third. Then back to the first fret, slide from the third fret to the fifth fret, same string, fifth string, and then play the third fret. So what we've got so far, nice and slow. I know it's a lot to take in, but it's so much fun once you can play it. So the intro, then you start the riff. And we're just out to the tail end here, well done. Then you go back to the first fret, slide to the third, all the way up to the fifth, slide from the third to the fifth, and then third fret on the string above. And then you would start off again with that intro riff. So it's just a bit of a loop. I'm gonna play it for you, the whole thing, nice and slow. You actually play the whole riff five times, just at the sort of the beginnings of the verse and the intro there. 
Now, instead of playing it using slides, I'm gonna show you it with hammer-ons. So you'll see my fingers, it's a lot easier. And that's it. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. If there's a song that you didn't see in this video, leave a comment below. I can't do every song, unfortunately, because some are just too hard and too challenging for this series. Definitely try learning every with one finger, then try two, three, or four fingers. Hopefully you had fun. If you want to suggest some songs, or you just want to chat, or you've got some trouble sort of playing, or you know different aspects of your playing, let me know over on Facebook or Instagram. Send me a private message there. Otherwise, I'll see you again very, very soon. If you want to learn theory, Check out this playlist if you want to learn more sort of modern musician concepts, go through in order and check out this playlist. Otherwise, I'll see you all again really soon. Bye.